Marvin Wright was an exceptional athlete at Arthur Hill High School where he graduated in 1993 with seven varsity letters. The six foot one, 197 pounder participated in football, basketball, and baseball for the Lumberjacks. We played Flint Central his uh, ninth grade year. And after the game, one of the fathers from the Flint Central players came up to me as we were walking off the field. And he says, someday that kid's gonna win a uh, state championship. In a Saginaw News poll, he was named to the school's all-time football team as the Lumberjacks were one of the premier teams in the state. During his three years on the varsity, 1990-92, Arthur Hill was 30-5, and five, including a 20-game winning streak. Marvin saw exactly what we needed to do to take advantage of that defense. He understood. He was a very intelligent player, not just talented, but very intelligent. Right, a two-year team captain could hurt you with his arm or his legs playing quarterback and defensive back. He led Arthur Hill to a 13-12 win over Detroit Catholic Central in the 1991 Class AA State Championship game. He ran for a two-yard touchdown and also kicked an extra point that proved to be the big difference in the game. Fourth quarter, he single-handedly won that game. In 1992, Wright again led the Lumberjacks to the state title game, but this time they lost to Detroit Catholic Central 21-20. He ran 12 times for 81 yards in that game, including a 55-yard TD run. Wright also completed 7 of 15 passes for 170 yards, including a 76-yard touchdown toss. He was named to the Detroit Free Press All-State football team both his junior and senior seasons. Marvin was extremely smart. He knew what was going on. He'd come off the field. And I didn't play him on defense some of the time because I wanted him on the sideline asking him what he was seeing. Wright received an athletic scholarship to Michigan State University after 1,700 career passing yards at Arthur Hill with 12 touchdowns and 1,362 career rushing yards. That's 5.2 per carry if you're keeping score and 16 touchdowns. On defense, he produced 92 tackles, two interceptions, a fumble recovery, and three touchdowns. Additionally, he punted 78 times for a 36.8 yard average. He was most recently voted by Max Prep Sports as one of the top 50 football players in the state of Michigan. You know, one sticks out was the Adrian game in the playoffs. It was raining there, mud again rolling out and you know, throwing a long touchdown pass to Robert Holmes. It was just one of those things that shouldn't have happened, but he had a way of making it happen. And uh, he was a special player. Marvin was a, was a fantastic leader and a hell of a guy who was able to keep us, keep things light for us so that we didn't lose it, you know, when things were kind of going, going bad for us. And that, that's, a, that's a testament to him and also the coaching staff having him prepared and being ready to go to lead this football team. The picture of him running, running and breaking tackles and stuff on that one drive to, to win the game. I need more Marvins. I need more guys that really want to practice hard and they want to do things the right way. He's a tough kid. He'd rock you. What a great experience it was working with Jim Urick, uh, with Marvin Wright, with uh, all of our kids at Arthur Hill. As a Spartan, he played for both George Perlis and Nick Saban. Wright was a solid starter at strong safety for two seasons and a special teams player for four seasons for MSU, earning four varsity letters. One of his best games came in 1995 versus number seven ranked Michigan when he racked up 16 tackles in a 28-25 Michigan State victory. That same season, he received the Tommy Love Award for being the most improved player on defense. He finished his senior season with 46 tackles and a pair of pass breakups. You've got to like Marvin. He was a unique individual. For him to play the way he did in front of huge crowds at Arthur Hill Stadium, uh, I don't know many kids that could have taken that on their shoulders. And he was the type of player that it, it was fun to watch him. You know, sometimes I think um, educators we were born to teach we were born to coach and i think marvin was one of those people who was born to work with young young kids and adolescents he is the proud father of maddox ashton and marvin wright jr who was an outstanding athlete at lansing everett high school and now plays college football at michigan tech university